Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly value, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure and this is my perspective. Okay, so this right here is not necessarily a video, but you can read the headline. Chief star where she writes mom officially charged after stealing a package from her neighbor in Texas. Now, if we swap right on over to the New York Post, they had a little bit more information. So the mother of chief receiver, Rashi Rice, has been charged with allegedly stealing a package from her neighbor in Texas. Marsha Kearney was wearing her son's jersey when she was captured on surveillance video late September, appearing to steal an unopened package from her neighbor's porch that had a Chappelle Rome records inside, uh, whoever that is. A warrant was issued on her arrest October the 8th. She turned herself into the Tarrant County Sheriff's Office on the 15th on one count of misdemeanor theft. So supposedly this is like a little video or whatnot of her. Here she is with her son's jersey on. And she's watching for the camera. Okay. And take something like a package. Okay. This is her. All right. Says Kearney is due in court next month. She's also charged with theft earlier this year after she was accused of stealing an assortment of household items, which included food, tumblers, laundry products, merchandise, and socks. So she's a petty, she's a consistent petty thief. Case got dismissed after Kearney abided by unspecified conditions. Uh, said Rice, the chief's receiver. Is in his second season. Last year, he's had 79 catches for 938 yards and seven touchdowns. It's pretty good in the regular season and was a key component of the offense as the team won the Super Bowl in his rookie year. He's appearing after appearing four games. He went, he underwent surgery to repair his LCL. Now they had some other interesting information. Um, he had a tumultuous offseason, as he calls the multi-car wreck. While racing a friend on a highway in Texas in broad daylight in March, he faces eight charges related to that incident, presumably NFL discipline. Once the case is adjudicated, Rice was also accused of punching a photographer at a nightclub in May. There are no legal ramifications from that incident as the man declined to press charges. So. Here's the deal. First, I want to focus on her. Why would you embarrass your son like this? You know that your son is, has entered the NFL, making a name for himself, it would seem, as be, being immediately an asset to the team in his rookie year. Now, I don't I have not followed football in quite some time, so I don't know if he was a high draft pick. He couldn't have been that high because the Chiefs won the Super Bowl. Uh, uh, I think a couple of times in a row now or whatever. So, you know, the more you win, you get lower draft picks, whatever, whatever. But apparently he's been doing well. He had two seasons. Why would you why would you? Knowing that you now have, your son has a spotlight on him, which would mean that the people closest connected to him would also have spotlights. And what I mean by that is if you make the news, the automatic connection is going to be to him. Regardless of what you do, regardless of whether that news is good or bad, the automatic, the automatic uh, connection is going to be made from you to him. And so that's going to cast a light on him, whether that light is favorable or not will depend on why you have the spotlight on you in the first place. But you've got the spotlight on you for doing a petty theft 
of what looks like possibly an Amazon package from somebody's door. Just random thievery. You don't know what's in those packages. It doesn't even matter what's in them. You just a you just a you just a thief. You just sticky handy. So you just want to be stealing stuff because that's what, just what you do. You got charged with it earlier this year. So you're just a package thief. I can't stand package thieves because people order stuff with their money. And whether those things are necessities or not, sometimes they are. Sometimes these things are things that people need. They've been looking for. They spent their money on it. They waiting on it just to have it delivered, just to have some idiot come along and swipe the package off the porch or from the door or whatever the case may be. And it's so, it's so annoying because now I got to wrangle with Amazon. They're not likely to do much, especially when Amazon delivers things and then they take a picture of the fact that they delivered it. So in reality, it's not Amazon's fault. They completed their job, which was to get the package to you, okay, to your door. They can't then stand and monitor it and make sure that nobody takes it. So now you've got to either try to wrangle with them, you know, maybe get your money back, maybe not, or maybe buy the thing again or whatever the case may be. It's so annoying. But more than that is that you're so lost in the lost value system that you can't even think to stay out of trouble so as not to reflect negatively on your more popular son man let me not do this man you know it's it's like you don't know how the world work you know that if you do something it's going to make the news because of who your son is other than that nobody cares who this woman is this doesn't make it to instagram it doesn't make it to the new york uh, post it doesn't make it anywhere she just random theft da, 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 da. people do that Unfortunately, people do that all the time. A comment on his behavior. This is what produce, is produced by single moms. You got him young, making foolish decisions, getting into a multi-car wreck. I don't know how many people or if people were hurt or not getting mad, punching people. This is all indicators of a man that was raised by a single mother. They usually don't have a lot of impulse control. Because of a lack of impulse control, a lot of times men will lose opportunities. And I'm hoping that he does not. I'm hoping that he can quickly uh, somebody can talk to him or mentor him or something like that because he's a young man to let him know you can't crash out like you can't you you gotta hold your composure you have to hold your responses you have to respond instead of react to things because you're famous you're starting to make money people may target you to try to get money out of you provoke you if they think you'll fight because they know you'll fight. So then if you hit them, now they can sue you for assault. You know, people set people up. And so when you have a young man who has been raised in a single mother home, he's reacting like his mom. You re start reacting like your mom. And a lot of times, like I said, men will lose opportunities because they crashing out. You're not supposed to crash out. Okay. Especially at this point with such, I would hate to see him do something that fumbles his career or what it seems to be a promising career as well. Hopefully his injury doesn't um, prevent him from going on to truly make a name for himself in the NFL. You know, I wish the best for the young man. But with parents like this, he behind the eight ball. Because why are you even stealing petty packages anyway? 
Why are you doing that anyway? What's wrong with you? And some people may say, well, you know what I'm saying? He didn't made it to the NFL. Why is his mom in the apartment anyway? And da 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 da. Because I had, I, you know, looks like his one comment here you can see on the screen. His mom is still living in an apartment. Like, yeah, I would move her to a home so she can steal stuff off people's porches and then get kicked out by the HOA. I, 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 I wouldn't buy her a home. And then he just now made it to the NFL. So, he on a rookie salary more often, more likely than not. He ain't got no money to be moving her nowhere. That's just, that's, you know, that's not realistic. You don't just start out being a multimillionaire. You be on rookie contracts and stuff. Football contracts, to my knowledge, are still not guaranteed contracts, not like basketball or baseball. He better hope that he can come back and be an effective wide receiver after this injury because a knee injury for a wide receiver is not a good thing. But when I read this, the title of it, I just shook my head. For real? They'll do anything to embarrass you. I know that young man got to be like, for real? So you just steal packaging? He probably know that about her. But like, come on. Whatever it was that you thought was in that package, I could have bought it for you. Good God. Anyway, jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host, the Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites.